this recipe, um, you should, you probably have everything, uh, all, all the ingredients already. Uh, just an onion, a tomato, a chili pepper, uh, this is optional. A clove of garlic, again, this is also optional. You're gonna need two tablespoons of oil. You're going to need your eggs and uh, you're gonna need a tablespoon of tomato paste. If you don't have tomato paste, uh, tomato sauce tomato would paste. work as well. You have salt, cumin, black pepper, and paprika. You're also going to need a pan with a lid and a wooden spoon. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to prep, uh, you're gonna wash your veggies and you're going to cut them into really, really small pieces. So uh, you can use a cutting board or you can use a, a, a blender or a mechanical chopper. We're not going to do the entire pepper, we'll do just a little amount. This is Again. also optional. Yes, this is also optional. This one and the garlic. They're not deal breakers. Um, so the traditional shakshuka is North African um, in countries like Tunisia and Morocco and Algeria. And they usually put bell peppers, uh, green or red bell peppers. Uh, we're going to forego that as well. It's optional. And the Yemeni shakshuka doesn't incorporate the, the bell peppers. I know we're supposed to smash. Uh, smash the garlic to bring out the flavor, but I kind of forgot to do that. Though. So I'll do it last. <laughs> uh, like Miss Balsamo's, uh, like Mr. Balsamo showed us in the video before this. Okay, okay so everything is uh, ready. We're going to turn on the heat under the onions and oil. We're gonna put a mini, uh, medium to high heat, and we're gonna let these onions. Um, turn golden okay so as you can see they've lightened up a bit uh, you see those golden edges give it another stir and you want to constantly stir because some places on the pan get more heat than others so you really want to even it out for all of the onions they look about ready. Some people prefer to cook them even more, but this is sufficient. Now we're just going to add the tomatoes, the pepper, uh, the chili pepper, and the uh, garlic. I'm going to add about a fourth of a cup of water uh, so that we can cook the tomatoes and add the tomato paste. As you can see, the tomatoes are now cooked. We're going to add all of our seasoning. We're going to add our cumin, our salt, and our uh, paprika, and our black pepper. I'm easy on the salt because I'm trying to take care of our blood pressure. Now you just mix it all the way through.
Okay, now we're ready for our favorite part. So you'll know that it's ready when you move some of this uh, sauce and you see the bottom of the pan, then you know it's ready. Now lower the heat all the way to a very low heat uh, for the next part. Um, so if you're still learning how to crack the egg, you want to put it into a bowl first and then you're going to put it into a well. So you're going to make wells, uh, about four or five wells, depending on how many eggs you want to put. I'm going to put five or six and then I'm going to take the egg. For a, a new person, you're going to crack the egg into a bowl first so that if there's any you make sure there's no shells and you put it into your first well, just like that. And then you take your uh, spoon and you make some space for the whites. And you repeat that with all the eggs you're going to use. It's really low heat, so you're not going to see them cook too fast, and you won't have to worry about burning uh, the, the dish. And put another one in another bowl. Again, you make some, sp uh, some space. So this calls for any amount of eggs. If you are eating alone, maybe two or three is sufficient. If you are making this with and for your family, then you might want to add a few more, depending on how many people are in your family. Last one. You want to keep that egg yolk whole. See, this one got the shell. Um, and this one cracked the, egg, the yolk, so it's not going to be pretty in there. So we're gonna leave that for another time, and I'm gonna make the last one. Again, make your hole, make your well in the center. This is the final one, and you put your egg. Okay, so now all of your eggs are inside. You're gonna return the heat to medium high, and you're going to cover it. There's the high heat, and you cover it up let it cook for about six to seven minutes. Uh, if you want a runny egg, you just wait until the whites cook through and it's ready. If you want the, the yolk to be completely cooked, then you're gonna cook it for an additional minute or so until the, the yolk is already is also cooked through. You're gonna poke it with a fork to make sure. is just about ready. You're gonna turn off the heat and it is ready to eat. You can eat it with a fork or you can eat it with a pita bread. That's the traditional way to eat it. Uh, so you can find this in every market. Or you can garnish. This is a little bit of cilantro. You garnish it like that and you serve it uh, for everyone to grab a bit into their plate. There you have it. Our shakshuka is ready uh, to serve for breakfast today um, or as a pre-dawn meal um, during the month of Ramadan. It's uh, fulfilling, it's delicious, and I hope you try it. Stay tuned for another episode of Just a Taste.